I'm sure that many of you already know the strange events that have been circling the death of Colton Bale, but you need to know what happened. As he ran from us in attempts to steal a book, he was struck and killed by a car. The police are refusing to release any information of what they found that night, but you need to know what we saw. Pieces of his clothing were ripped during the collision, but what we saw underneath his clothing was not natural. He was covered in scales from the neck down, but his legs were more aquatic. I know you're probably laughing thinking that this is some sort of joke, but it's not. I saw it with my own eyes. So did others. Professor Reynolds was there too and was able to take some samples before he left. This is all that remains. The samples turned to ash soon after with DNA analysis being inconclusive. But one thing we can say for sure is that what we do know of him was not human or at least not entirely. What is just as strange is that he appeared to be in his late 20s at the age of 12. Henry Bishop has agreed to help me in deciphering the book he was after. These are findings. The book titled Incantation is a book of ancient spells and prophecies. The spells are strange with even stranger passages that correlate with what we've seen in his appearance. I'll read to you a passage from what we deciphered. There would be a mortal woman of ancient descent who would become impregnated by the first beast. She will carry two within her, and they'll be born in the second year of the second millennium. They will be brothers, one to rule and one to conquer. The first one will reign in wisdom to control the other, so one day the old can return. But without him, the other will continue to grow in size and hunger and feeding upon whatever is nearest to him. If he continues to grow, then only the power that lies within the original book of prophecy and incantation can stop it. If anything were to happen to the ruler, then the other would continue to grow until the world is consumed by him. I fear that the strange happenings around the town may be linked to this. If this is so, then that means the more will continue to die if we don't stop it. The Bale family appears to be gone. I fear the worst may have already happened. I'll continue to update you on any findings we've come across. If you know of any information regarding the family or come across anything that may be linked to the strange occurrences around the area, then this information may assist us in the search for what has been happening around Whitmire. I'll keep you informed of any further updates on my site by leaving a link for you below. That is all for now.